Island life flourished. Fish catching, due to the creation of capital by a few entrepreneurial islanders, had become highly efficient. Efficiency meant most islanders didn't have to fish at all. Now for the first time, people had savings. They bought things they wanted. They paid each other to do the things they weren't so great at. Because having savings meant they could always get fish, people worried less about the future. Instead, they made plans for it, building more huts and more businesses. Wow, your new hut looks really great, Charlie. Thanks, and thanks for recommending Daryl. What a great hut builder. I waited so long and worked so hard to save enough fish notes. Well, I hope you haven't stopped saving just because your hut's finished. Without savings... Don't worry. I'm saving up for something really nice. It's a secret. A few days later, while Charlie was out harvesting goji berries... Oh no! How could this happen? I've told you, everything will be fine. You just use your savings and have your hut rebuilt. That's why you kept saving, because disaster can strike at any moment. Well, it can't if you don't have a hut in the first place. Oh, I'm going to miss my hut. I don't know why everybody is so upset. The way I see it, that tree fallen did us all a big favor. Have you lost your mind? No, sorry. Now you'll have to spend all your savings to build a new hut. Yeah, and what's so great about that? Listen, when you spend your savings, Daryl, the builder, will have more money. He'll take that money your money and buy more fish from Abel and more baskets from Betty. When he pays Abel and Betty, they'll have more money to pay other people for things they want. Don't you see? Well, I guess I hadn't thought of it that way before. I, I do like to help people. Come on, guys. It's so obvious. Destruction is great. It forces people to spend more money. You can't be serious. Charlie mourned her loss and slowly started to build up her savings again. It just doesn't make sense. If destruction is so great, why don't we just tear down all the huts over and over? That's a great idea. We ought to get started on it right away. You have lost your mind. Sit with us, Baker. Now, because of the tree, Charlie has to rebuild her hut and spend her savings. What if that tree hadn't fallen? If the tree hadn't fallen, I would still have a hut. What are you getting at, Abel? What would you have spent your savings on if you didn't have to spend it rebuilding? I plan to use my savings to buy 20 fish from you so I could throw Baker a birthday party. Inconceivable. And if you had bought 20 fish from me, I would have had enough money to buy one of those mega deluxe super spears as a gift for Baker's birthday. Really? For me? You guys are the best! How did you know? Do you really question my keen observational powers? If you both will further observe, the falling tree has had two effects, one seen and one unseen. That's obscene! It's certainly unseemly. Anyway, all I see is myself having to spend my savings to rebuild my hut. And all I see is Daryl getting all that money to rebuild Charlie's hut. This is true, but what you don't see is what could have happened and what would have happened. Charlie would have spent her savings on fish for the party, I would have spent her fish notes on your gift. You know what else I could have done? I could have invested my savings in my jam business. Seen? Unseen? Whatever. It all seems pretty out there to me, Abel. Really, it's not. Trust me, it's about to hit home in a minute. What you talking about? Baker, wake up. There's no party. There's no mega deluxe super spear. But, but, but you said... Baker... When the tree fell, it forced me to alter what I was planning to buy. Instead of having a hut and throwing a party, now I just have a hut. And you have nothing. So look, now we're all worse off. That tree is ruining my life too. Abel continued to explain how the loss of Charlie's hut doesn't help the island's economy. When something destroyed must be replaced, the people replacing it earn more income but the people who would have earned the income had something not been destroyed now earn less income. In the end, the community has the same income, but they have less stuff to enjoy. I can't forget to see where the money could have gone if I hadn't had to fix something broken. Clearly, the most important part is what you don't see. Never again did Abel, Baker, and Charlie praise senseless destruction. They each wondered, was there always something unseen hiding behind what is seen? Another reality, somehow concealed in plain sight.